You can report anonymously so law enforcement knows what happened. They just don't know who you are or how to contact you and they will not do an investigation of the assault, but it will get your kit to the crime lab to be tested. So the benefit of anonymous over unreported is that it gets your kit to the crime lab to be tested. If you're unreported, it sits in our evidence locker and is not tested by the crime lab, doesn't move from the hospital evidence locker until you're ready to come forward. When you are interviewed by the sexual assault nurse examiner, they will give you a anonymous sane name. So it may be a color, it may be um, an animal, it may be something just to anonymously identify you. Your medical record will be under your name, but everything that is evidence that would be going to the crime lab has an anonymous name. It's important to know that when you've been sexually assaulted that there are health considerations, so it's not just about evidence collection or kit collection that um, it's important to consider STD and pregnancy prophylaxis, that you could have injuries. Um, so we do have options for evidence collection, but if you've been sexually assaulted, it's important to know that there are health considerations and that you should come to the hospital.